Right, hi guys, it's Devon Boy here. That's the best I can do, um, waving to you. I'm going to show you the NavPlus system that I had installed in the Mazda today. Um, I had the full um, uh, NavPlus system and reversing camera installed. Um, the system cost about 800 quid to ship over and 200 quid to install today. I use Prestige installs in St Albans. They're very reasonable and I think they've done a really good job. And I'll put their their details in the, in the post that accompanies this. So I think this is the first uh, install in the UK. And and firstly, there's the reversing camera just there, which I think is a fairly pragmatic place to put it. Difficult to put it in the bumper, and obviously you need the centre here clear to actually open the boot, etc. If we go around to the car, um, uh, you know, keys. I can see my garage. Which is nice for you. You know, firstly inside, um, it's just great how clean it is in here. Um, there's no cabling, um, uh, and I haven't installed my, my phone into the system yet. I'm just going to run through with it as, as, as I would, but it looks completely stock, right? The only thing that's been added to the cabin is this small microphone for Siri. I think had I been home today, I probably would have paid a bit extra to have it rooted up through here and maybe, you know, coming out on... On, on, on here or something like that but but hey first world problems I'm sure you agree so let's just start this um, sucker up and, and see what happens and clearly you know anyone who's thinking about this probably faces the same, same dilemma I did which is you can you can change all of this and and still keep things like the directions coming through your centre console but I didn't want to lose a trip meter and I didn't want to lose my clock I don't know why I just love the Maserati clock and and I think you know this system is a good pragmatic um, compromise between the two so let's fire her up. Uh, I'm just going to have to put my seatbelt on for a moment, otherwise we're going to be bleeping. And there are going to be lots of bleeps because I'm in my garage and um, obviously there's stuff parked all over the place. And what I might do is um, is just actually um, show you the reversing camera to start with. So there we are, there's our stock system. Got a bit of music coming through, which is nice. I don't know what that is. Um, is that, uh, and, and let's start with... Um, Let's start with the reversing camera. So stock system, it doesn't matter whether you're in the stock system or you're in the nav plus system, you hit reverse and there we are, there's our reversing camera. I've got no grid on this, I don't know why. There was a grid on the um, on the, uh, on the um, video that nav plus sent over, but on this one, let's get out a bit of light for you guys. Um, you can see um, the camera works beautifully and we get out into the daylight. That's probably not gonna be helpful actually. Let's stick it into park again and yeah I think I'll go back in the garage it's probably better for the visuals so let's go into drive get her back in the garage I won't put her all the way in uh, see what that's it that's probably not a bad place to leave her okay so we'll put it into um, park and there we are so you can see it's it's instantaneous and it doesn't matter whether you're in 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 in, in whatever mode so let's go into the mode you want to see so press down here one two three uh, I haven't got my phone in, so I thought I'd give you the full install. Obviously, if you've got your phone on, it'll come up straight away. So open the centre armrest, and I will plug the phone in. Excuse me a moment. Right, the phone is now plugged in and sits in the armrest for the rest of the, the journey to the south of France. Just get it so it can shuts. Got lots of shit in there. So there we have our, our screen. Um, so very familiar to us all. Uh, hey Siri, um, open messages. I'm listening. Take me to Luton. Getting directions to Luton. Why anyone want to go to Luton? Um, God only knows. I clearly had a route, previous route when I was playing around with. So there we are. Come the directions to Luton, and. Um, you know, it's very, very good quality. The sound quality is excellent. And clearly you have constantly updated maps through through Apple Maps. So I know people prefer Google Maps and I prefer Waze. I think we all prefer Waze. But one of the nice things you can do is have Waze on in the background in long journeys. As long as GPS is always active, you can have Waze shouting out your speed cameras and your police alerts um, as you on the route you're on. I think, you know, and it automatically um, softens the music as well so that's really great news um we've also got fantastic spotify um and the, the great thing with spotify is i think a few of us had problems getting you know when we bluetooth um uh through a receiver our spotify 
It's difficult to get the volume and certainly the quality isn't there. While all that goes with this system, it uses the Connect system, which works really well with Spotify. And Jesus, the volume, well, that's not, that, that wasn't even full volume. So the volume is amazing. The quality is much, much better there. The, the tones are great. It comes through your system, so your normal volume button works here, but obviously you can't change track or anything like that. Um, and then back here, you know, um, I've actually answered uh, messages through Siri. I'll see if I can do it. Hey Siri. Messages. Messages. Yes. Go ahead. Okay, that's understood. Uh, and I'll see if I can see Henning's performance. Your reply to Henning says, Okay, that's understood. We'll go and see if I can see Henning's performance. Ready to send it? Yes. I'll send it. So that's the first ever uh, Siri, Siri um, message I've ever sent. Um, uh, so there we are. We're all, we're all on a journey of discovery here. Um, the other great thing is you can get, um, so when I go down the south of France, I like to have UK radio. So clearly Protune here will allow us to have Radio 5 Live or whatever, Heart Radio, whatever we want, playing down through our systems. And again, just to prove it to you, if I flip it to reverse, it all stops and up comes the reversing camera back into park and, and back to the system. So that's it really. I think if I was doing it again, I probably um, would change the position of the microphone, but I think overall for a grand installed, um, I, I, I have to say I'm impressed. I think the other thing I should point out is the wiring in a Quattroporte is different to the wiring in a Gran Turismo. So my guy had a few difficulties because the coloured wires and the instructions didn't match reality. He also said that you know it was more than a two hour job so some of the instructions he thought from never plus were clearly written by somebody who had uh you know installed the system already so they're not very user friendly so i don't think he was talented for more work but you know that's he was trying to just justify why it took him nearly three and a half four hours rather than the two that Navi plus suggested so you know i'm still happy either way um i think i've got a great system and that if i'm ever at uh, any of the meets i you know stop me and you can get in the cab cockpit and play around yourself i've prattled on now for nearly eight minutes any questions follow them through the forum and look if you if you if you fancy giving it a shot uh, i would recommend prestige installs they've done it before i'm the guinea pig i've told him what i'd do differently and i think he accepts that um, he's probably going to come back and do a microphone free of charge but i think you know he's got the knowledge now so i'd, I'd heartily recommend them his name's paul uh, and that's the advert for him over. Take care, speak soon guys, bye.